Hello, this is Jenny Gunning from Ironbridge Fine Arts and Framing. We are making lots of uh, short movies to not only show you how to use the machines we hand build and sell all over the world, um, but also how to make the plates and print from them. Uh, this is stage one, preparing your plates. You can use several different kinds of metals for making etching. The first is steel. Mild steel is the hardest metal, so once you have made the plates you can print around 2,000 prints for it. However, it oxidises very quickly, so you'll have to make sure that you look after it. Next is zinc. This is a soft metal and once made you can print around 30 prints from the plate before it starts to break down. It oxidises slowly so the plates are easily kept. The next metal is copper, the traditional metal to use for etching. You will be able to get around 90 prints from a copper etching. It oxidises well and turns to a lovely green colour. Once you've decided which metal you would like to use it's time to prepare your plates. The first thing to do is to make the surface as smooth as possible. You can do this by hand or by machine. I prefer by hand. Using low grade sandpaper, sand your plates so the surface is free of any rust or mark. Then use metal polish to finish your surface so it's nice and shiny and smooth. The next step is to degrease your plates to make sure that they are free of any residue, steel or grease. You can use fairy washing up liquid or washing powder mixed in with water. This done a couple of times will make sure your plate is ready for the next stage of making an etching plate. The last thing to do is just make sure your plate is dry. Use a blowtorch or tissue drying your plate. If you would like to move on to our next how-to movie in this series, it's called Grounding Your Plate. Or if you would like any more information, please contact us on email, which is info at shropshirefinearts.co.uk, or phone 01952 434033, or get in touch via our website. Thanks for watching.